Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to stream music and videos directly from your cloud storage accounts. Now in this day and age we all have files saved on our cloud storage accounts. Mobile devices don't always offer enough local storage to hold an entire music library for instance but Dropbox Drive and OneDrive make it incredibly easy to store and access your data remotely. The only problem is, most of these services make it a clunky experience to play music or stream videos that you've saved to the cloud. Well an app from the development team at Nitya Labs will make it incredibly easy to stream media that you've stored on your various cloud accounts. The app is called Airstream and is available on the Google Play Store for free. So search it by name to get it installed, then we'll check out the setup process. Now when you first launch Airstream, the app will give you a quick overview of its capabilities. Tap Get Started here, then you'll be asked to attach your cloud accounts. To do that, select the cloud service in question, then you'll get a login screen for this particular cloud service. From here just enter your account credentials, then press either allow or ok when asked if you'd like to let Airstream access your account. But let me do that part off screen real quick and I'll get right back with you. Ok so once you've logged into your first cloud account, you can repeat this same process for any other cloud accounts that you would like to use with Airstream. But when you've got that taken care of, go ahead and tap next at the bottom of the screen. From here Airstream will offer to help you set up a local area network connection with your computer, but go ahead and tap remind me later here. At this point you'll be taken to Airstream's main menu. From here tap the cloud entry, then you can select any of your cloud accounts. Once you've done that, you'll see a list view of all the files that you have stored on your cloud account. From here just select any folder that contains music or video files, then you'll see your media. Just tap a song or video and it will immediately start playing. From here you can head to the music tab if you're playing an album and the interface here is the same as you'd get with a music player app. So you can skip tracks and pause playback and there's even an ongoing notification that you can use to control the playlist from any screen. So it's a really easy way to play your cloud music and videos and since the app is free you can't beat that value. But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.